Chris Forth. I'm the Vice President of Regulatory Codes and Environmental Affairs for Johns Controls Ducted Systems, and I've been with the company now for 29 years. Uh, DOE 2023 is a, the new federal efficiency change for air conditioning and heat pumps that goes into effect on January 1st, 2023. And it does have some regionality to it, so it's not quite as straightforward as just new minimum efficiencies. The new efficiency requirements are changing this time around because they will become more rigorous. There will be a new DOE test procedure. And along with that, there will be new metrics, uh, which will be known as SEER2, EAR2, and HSPF2. No, the requirements uh, are not the same this time. Uh, climate makes a big difference in how often air conditioners and heat pumps operate. So for that reason, the DOE has divided the U.S. into three regions, a north region, a south or southeast region, and a southwest. What that means is air conditioners installed in northern climates, which were today 13 SEER, have to go to a 14 SEER. And when you convert that to a SEER 2, it drops down to 13.4 SEER 2. While those air conditioning systems in the south are increased from a 14 SEER to a 15 SEER, and then that 15 SEER is decreased down to a 14.3 SEER 2. Fortunately, the DOE classifies heat pumps of all types as a national standard, so they're not subject to the regional requirements that air conditioners are. There's just one exception. Residential package products in the Southwest do have an EER component that users need to be aware of. All products that were legally compliant on the day that they were manufactured are considered legal to distribute, sell, and install in most U.S. states, though there are different requirements based on regional standards. One of the most important things to keep in mind is that AC products specifically manufactured in 2022 or earlier for the Southeast and Southwest are classified by DOE as date of installation products and therefore must be installed prior to 1-1-2023 unless they meet the new 2023 minimum efficiency levels. Well, there's several things that are not affected by DOE 2023. First and foremost is manufactured housing. Manufactured housing does not have its own separate DOE category on the AC and heat pump side, so it does fall into scope under the standard air conditioning. The second thing that's not included is furnaces. So furnaces have their own separate rulemaking and therefore have a, are not included in this DOE 2023 transition. And lastly, three-phase product that is below you know, five tons is also excluded. It has a separate rulemaking that will take effect on 1-1-2025. So commercial products, however, five tons and above are included in the DOE 2023 transition and most of their efficiencies will increase approximately 15%. Some general things everyone needs to be aware of. When it comes time to replace existing systems, homeowners and property owners will be able to select new DOE compliant equipment and may see significant energy savings. So while some confusion may still exist in the marketplace, new opportunities are also being created. To help with questions you might have, we've created a dedicated website as well as a guidebook to assist you. While the DOE 2023 transition presents significant challenges, we'll continue to be here as your trusted resource to help ensure your continued success.